Good morning. I'm Leo Vader. Ben Hansen's above me. Hello. As always, in stature, physically. Uh, we're <laughs> playing Green. Teardown today. Uh, it's a destruction type of game. You can do all this stuff. <laughs> Leo, what is this, Minecraft? <laughs> nice, man. No, oh, it's Teardown. This game oh, went viral, actually, it seems like. I've, like a preview video of it oddly went viral a few months ago. Everybody's excited yeah. by the destruction physics. And who could blame them? But now it's out in early access on Steam, and it's a bit more of a campaign than people were expecting. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think people just saw it. And they're like, okay, some new agey take on Red Faction Guerrilla. I'm in no matter what. But yeah, I think it was during a Jeff Keighley stream they showed it, and I was, I was bought in. But I completely missed that it was released. But you think it's it's doing well? People are buzzing about this thing. People are a buzz for sure. I've seen a lot of people oh, talking oh. about it. Uh, thank you, F. Bobby, for the big sub. Thank I've you, done F. one Bobby. mission so far. Uh, this is the first email I got in the game was from my mom about our gas bill and yeah. how we're getting desperate for any work with our teardown business. So we took this kind of fishy job to destroy this like cultural landmark. I <laughs> came in at night and tore it down. And that's okay. as far as we are. And of course, shouldn't have taken that job. I knew something wasn't right. Demolition is now part of a criminal investigation. No, uh, I know. You've been set up. This is like Mission Impossible. She thought she could get the case dropped, but asked for a favor in return. Uh-oh. Thanks, Hellbringer, for the big sub. Thank you, Hellbringer. I've been investigating Lawrence Lee Jr. over tax evasion for months now, but he has so many friends in town that I can't get a warrant. How about you use your skills to borrow the computers over at Lee Chemicals so that I can finally access his customer registry and sort this mess out? Mm, so it's I like a stealing it. job. Yeah, because this, the confusing thing is it was pitched as a heist game. And I think people saw the physics and were like, well, this is enough for a game. But I like even the developers like, okay, one mission of tearing something down is great. And then we have to actually add some other mechanics here. So it's not <laughs> just a quick gimmick. Right. Oh, hey, Leo, what is this? Rainbow Six Siege? <laughs> With a name down there? <laughs> <laughs> please, no, this please is stop. tear down. Tear down. I'll be damned. Uh, so I can press tab and see this ah! above view. Oh, that transition was awesome. Yeah, GTA 5, anyone? Uh, yeah, on crack. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good video. <laughs> First By computer. Way, What's up? Th th thank you to Churbage and uh, Kill Slayer for subbing on Twitch. And thanks everybody for watching on YouTube as well. You can watch us live on Twitch if you'd like. That's right. Twitch.tv slash right. minmax show. Ooh. Let's go for the, this computer first. What was it here? Yeah. So this seems like a freebie. This is the conundrum. Is <laughs> yeah. what is that? They That's give how you open all, doors. Oh, they give you all the tools in the world to destroy everything, but then it's a heist game. So it's like, well, can't you just walk through all walls? It's like there's a heist game, and you were just um, Kitty Pride. I don't know what an analogy would be. Doctor Manhattan. Yeah, it's called a power easy. fantasy. Ah, and that's what we're all after, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. That was a simple one. That was kind of a freebie. But could you go back? I mean, is there a harm just in tearing down that entire building? No, you want me to? I mean, yeah, I think people want to see you tear it down. Tear it down. I fell in the water. Fall in the water, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that floating debris there. Perfect. It's a really smart system. It's like everything looks simple and the way it destroys makes sense. Yeah, this looks like how I would imagine a Minecraft 2 would look. Totally. You do get a lot of this Red Faction Guerrilla style, where you destroy the whole floor of the building and it just floats. Oh, okay. All right, that's fine. So there, there's no gravity here. There should be. I think eventually, once I really get everything, it'll fall. Uh, or not. Oh. Well, let's save it. they're saving that for a big... Uh, Big update once it's out of early access on Steam. Now right. with gravity. Oh, it was connected to that fence. Now it's oh. a small little house. Oh, that's cute. Now it's good for your height, Leo. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, everybody calm down in the chat. Come on, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> We're friends in real life, okay? It's a bit. <laughs> it's a bit, and in his case, it's a little bitty bit. <laughs> come on, calm down. I'm calm down, going everybody. to kill you. Okay, man, that's fine. Look, let's just get along to this video. Let's okay. show the people okay. how to I'll turn this. it off. Uh, how do we get this, do you think? Can I jump up and bonk that? 
No. I mean, I can bonk it. It just doesn't uh, do anything. <laughs> but okay. But just more basics of this game. Absolutely everything can be destroyed. Or uh, well, I have don't have all the tools yet. I assume that you can destroy some of the more difficult stuff once you get later tools, which you do in the game. But so far, it's like yeah, everything that's not steel, I can pretty much destroy. Cool. Oh, here we go. Take it away. Uh, people are asking about performance issues, Leo. Um, <laughs> do they feel like there are them? <laughs> We've been talking you before the stream about how this game kind of runs bad for a lot of people, especially when stuff is getting destroyed. It's a surprisingly taxing game for its look. Yeah, yeah. It's still early access. So some of it might be on the stream's end, some of it might be on the game's end. So uh, the point is it's nobody's fault and we can just sit back and enjoy this. Right. Just soak it in. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, what do you think yeah. about this? Oh, Leo... This game just got better. <laughs> Every game's better by getting in a vehicle. Except for Arkham Knight. Oh, God, no, Leo! True. Oh, no. Okay, we're really? good. Oh. Now, should I try to carefully lift these propane tanks and toss them into the building? Yeah. That seems like a pretty I good mean, idea. yeah. You need to be really... <laughs> I wish there was just like a grandma watching TV in that building. Yeah. Oh I love that that blew off the front of my dozer. That is sweet. Yeah. God. I feel like they... Do they have any other modes? Is it just There's the campaign a campaign right now? There's a sandbox mode as well. Oh, perfect. Which okay. we'll play with for sure. Yeah, that sounds great. Computer's probably in there, right? Yep. Okay. So I want to do... <laughs> getting the cherry picker. Hey, yeah, can't quite. There we All go. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Do you know? Are there going to be NPCs eventually, or is this some sort of freaky ghost town? <laughs> I don't know. I have seen on the TV. There's a newscaster that's in that kind of voxel style. That's the only person I've seen. Even when you get in a vehicle, I don't think you're you have a body in it. Oh. So I'd be surprised if they added NPCs. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I'm, Curious to see how they up the challenge later on without like patrolling guards and stuff like that. Yeah, true, for sure. No! No! I wonder if cars would be safer in the real world if they were all voxels. Huh. Chevy voxels. Probably. And easier to repair. You really just pick up the voxels and get some glue and put them back on. Yeah. When do you think you first heard the word voxel, Leo? Mm. Must have been when it came out of my mouth as my first word. <laughs> and your only word until age seven, and your parents were very concerned. That's right, but who's laughing now? Hit and run, <laughs> no fun for Lee Sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's Who's excellent. Who's poetry's dead? We can see my destruction did not carry through, so I can feel fine about <laughs> destroying this TV, theoretically. I was having fun. <laughs> I like uh, I like your little home base here. Yeah, apparently it gets like upgraded. It changes throughout the campaign. Oh, that's awesome. Leah's I'm curious. Been... Hmm. Oh, go ahead. No, please take it. Take Le it away. Leah's worked almost exclusively with a single client recently. The client is only referred to as BT. Titanfall 2, anyone? <laughs> yes, please. I really have to bother you with one more favor. Head back to Lee Chemicals and fetch their employee login devices. Should be able to cross-reference their log files with the delivery schedule to figure out where they are moving the product and what BT means. It means Buddy Titan, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, big Titan. It? Is that what it meant? <laughs> big Titan. What is what? that map? Is that just freaky Europe? I guess a freaky version of Europe, sure. Okay. So I'm back in the same place, but I got new objectives now. Oh, regular Mario 64 this one is. True. And they've uh, seemed to make things more difficult because we got this locked gate now. And I wanted now? to drive that car into it, but that's only my escape vehicle. So mm. let's see. Do you think I can knock this tower over and Six climb on the rubble over the fence? That sounds good. You can't just destroy the fence? Apparently not. That's... 
odd. Is that just kind of like the level boundaries and that's kind of how they're communicating that? I guess. Uh, my other tools, by the way, are spray <laughs> can and fire extinguisher. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is good. This is good game in here. Oh, blow on it. Oh. Use the fire extinguisher. Oh, it worked. Oh I jumped God. against it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just need a little more kind of this way type of Leo, way. never become a lumberjack. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, this might work. Whoop. Cool. Leo, definitely become a lumberjack because you get <laughs> stuff done, baby. A parkour lumberjack. <laughs> I'm inventing a new job. Uh, uh, F. Bobby in the chat on Twitch says, or asks, can you destroy the giant crane? I don't think we want to destroy it. That's our ticket out of here, baby. That's our meal or, ticket. What, yeah, this giant crane? In there. I guess so, yeah. You know, why don't I use it first, and then we'll try and destroy it. All right. Make a little way in. Oh, that's... Ooh, doesn't that just feel good? It does. It's Why very is clean. Is it just because like it's like a knife through butter? Yeah, and it's also something about like you know playing games for Leo for at least two years. I don't know about you, but like just it's so weird to have this new experience that should have been in games for years and years, but just the physics of video games couldn't handle it. Yeah, totally. So here's the thing is this time I have to do all these objectives within 60 seconds of each other. So this is kind uh -huh. of what we saw in the uh, early video was like building a efficient route by destroying stuff. Yeah. Which I think is a great use of these mechanics is like destroy things to set up a good route for yourself. Right. Just trying to clear right. this jump here first off. I like if you have a security guard just having some security camera on this just being like, what is this criminal doing? <laughs> slowly backing this crane in and out. It's a methodic, creepy nature. This yeah. part will be... Oh, dang it. Of course, what? the brick. So bricks you can't go through? Not with the tools I have. So hmm. then we'll come through over here. And the last one is up that way. So if we come in and grab that, anything good out here? Then we'll hop out here, do some of this kind of style parkour. Yeah. Oh, we can get in through the roof. That's good oh, to know. Right. Hmm. And then if I destroy the window, I bet I can jump straight through that. Wow! Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Shadow Cloud 04 in the chat says, "Man, this route creation gets insane mid-game." Cool. Yeah, I can't imagine. So, Shadow, you've been playing a lot. What do you think about the game so far? How does it evolve? Um, you just want to write a 300-word review in the Twitch chat? We'd yeah. appreciate it. Thank you so and then much. we'll post it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna to come, now that I finished the route, I think I'm just going to go backwards through it. I don't think there are any jumps I couldn't make backwards. I should have quick saved, though. That's for sure. Only get one shot. Permadeath. Essentially. Oof. God, you had me scared there. <laughs> Whew. Look at you, mouse and keyboard expert. <laughs> That's my using name. Whole life. Ooh, 20 seconds, anyone? Wait, do I have to leave still? Yeah, where you gotta go? I must. Oh, all right. I think we're still okay. Ooh. Oh my God, you freaked me out there. I thought you were gonna get stuck in there. <laughs> they find me just ass stuck in a trash can. <laughs> Nicely done, man. Thank you. High score three. High score three. High score three. Uh, Kyozo Moto says Tom Francis has some great gameplay of this game on YouTube, which seems up Leo's alley. Absolutely. Love Tom Francis. Ooh, yeah. What was that game called that you love so much from him? Heat Signature. That's right. That's right. Oh, I got a flamethrower now? That's great. And I can upgrade tools? Oh my god. This feels like it should be part of the deepest dive on the thing, Leo, going on right now on our YouTube channel. Ah! Last there part going point. up tomorrow? That's right, Leo, the very same. And yet uh, backstage pass patrons can watch our recording of it tonight, Tuesday? That's right, they can chime in in the chat. Oh my god. Help us, chat, we're becoming <laughs> Patreon people. <laughs> <Help us. laughs> oh no. That's a curse. Oh, my mom says they turned off the gas. I can't even make a proper coffee anymore. 
No, money. I need to bring in more clients. The subject of this email was need coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be her downfall over the course of the game. Oh. Is this the fricker who sent me that illegal job? He sent me another one? Trust him, though, because there's a boat involved, so it's going to be good. Remove one of the timeshare cabins to make room for his... The dock for his new boat. Wow. Cool. Well, he seems trustworthy. Let's go with it. I love the nature of these missions. It's How like so? they, re they really need to come up with a lot of uh, excuses to have you destroy stuff. Right. And I think this presentation and having it be like illegal, <laughs> I think that's really clever. Like right. I was, I wasn't expecting to give one damn about the story in this game, but I kind of am interested to see where it goes. Oh, interesting. Do you have any sense of how complete it is in early access? What's missing? All those fun things? I do not have sense. I think it's like six hours of campaign right now is what I've heard. Okay. That's cool. So I'm going to destroy the cabin at the end. And security is a fire alarm and large fires will trigger the fire alarm. Mm. So probably a flamethrower okay. type situation, I'm thinking. Yeah, that seems good. I'm a sucker for just cute little houses like this. It is adorable. It looks like something from like 3 game heroes. Yeah. I stole a valuable. Oh my God. Cool. What, the, what do you think about like the extra effects? Like some of that grain, the depth of field stuff. Do you like it? Depth of field is a little much probably. Yeah. I think it's a overall a cool style, but I have turned off depth of field mostly for performance and motion oh, blur sure. and stuff. So people won't be seeing it as extreme. Is it wrong for me to steal all the valuables from all these timeshare? cabins f them they have time here on the water that means it's fair game for anybody and if there's a karma system in this game and my mom dies because of this so be it bye mommy bye mommy they got coffee in heaven <laughs> uh hang on can i read you something leo yeah it's Once a short story time. Time. <laughs> okay, for, okay first let me read you a very important thing shadow clouds review on, okay. on the, the Twitch chat here, he says, I'm maybe six to, eight hours, six to eight hours in. I've gotten like 10 to 15 missions done, and the way tools they add really help you... Oh, and the tools they add really help you create unique options for yourself, and it's fun. The difficulty spikes if you constantly try to get all the objectives. Still having fun, though, and I think workshop support will constantly breathe fresh life into oh, the game. Oh, I didn't even think about workshop support. That's Player made crazy. worlds. I love that. That's so That's exciting. Oof. Is that in there now? I don't know. Let me, I'll check it out here. Tear down. Yeah, I mean, it's overwhelmingly positive on Steam, so uh, I would guess it is in there just because folks are. That's what people give about. overly positive reviews. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Only if it has workshop support. Um, hello. So I can. Oh, maybe I it doesn't have it yet, it seems like. Okay. So it's interesting. It's got that. UI element for going to trigger the fire alarm. Yeah. And so I can kind of juice it unless I fall in the water and I can't uh, put any of the fires out. Well, water's kind of a juice. Oh, interesting. Kind of like a boring juice. A plain juice. <laughs> I'll take a, not sparkling, just a, a plain juice, please. <laughs> That's good. So I'm controlling the spread of the fire to not put it to not trigger the alarm. It's kind Smart. of an interesting game mechanic. I also so don't want, want it to spread to the other uh, time shares. Yeah. So you want to keep it in the box? That's the idea. Uh, yes. I want to control the area of it and just keep that meter down as the fire spreads. Like put out the back of it. Gotcha. Uh, Shadow Cloud. God, people and people that follow us on Twitch are so smart. They say. Uh, Shadow Cloud says they have world creation now, but doesn't seem tethered to workshop yet. Epidemelk writes in and says people are already putting out custom levels and stuff. There's a user creations channel on their Discord, racetracks, bunch of guns, Minecraft blocks to make levels with, etc. Nice. Can't wait for workshop to make all that easier to incorporate. Totally. I just want a perfect Carl's Jr., you know? Like, that's yes. the stuff I want to destroy. <laughs> just a in, perfectly like, recreated Subway sandwich restaurant. But make it huge so that really if you looked at it, it would just look like a picture of a subway, but then you're just so small in that world. That right. It's all, it's all, it's you're just like, like a real mouse. world. Yeah, because there's no evidence that atoms don't just look like pixels in the real world, right? 
Exactly. I am worried Thank this you. fire has gotten away from me. No, 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 no. Not, you can't have a fire get away from you if you're really swimming in the water while putting it out. <laughs> like, you are on top of the situation. <laughs> as wet as possible. <laughs> hey, Becker, thanks for the games. sub. Wait, Leo, Leo, I want to compliment Becker. Oh, you do it, you do it, you do it. Becker plays games. Thank you for watching games Wait, today. Wait, can we I do it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Becker, thanks for watching games today, more like. Becker, I love you. And give me your address, because I'm going to drive there and ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> Cute. Well, Leo. Becker, I'm coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, alarm triggered by fire. <laughs> Oh, uh, I feel like you're doing a pretty good job there. It's yeah. What are you gonna do? Wait, this is the primo way to do it. Just get crushed oh by the spike falling off the support. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Is it too late or? I think I've still I still can do it. I just need to finish destroying it and get out of here in 30 seconds. Just to basically dunk the entire roof in the water. Yeah, I, I would consider this totaled right now, but... Oh, I can't destroy the shower frame. Come on, shower frame. Don't hold up this house. Don't <laughs> be the one thing. Now this is a destroyed house, is it not? <laughs> now what's it going to take to put you in this destroyed house today? <laughs> Yeah, you can see how it's three meters too tall, it says. Hmm. Wow, got taken away by the cops. God dang it, that stings, man. I just hate losing, Leo. Oh, I hate to lose! Winning, though? Sign me up. Sign me up. So I should be quick saving more often. I kind of forget about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, here's my fun factoid, Leo. Okay. Um, it's not quite get a load of this, but Leo, get a load of this. Um, there's a story out today about Harrison Ford, uh, Sean Connery's co-star from, of course, the greatest Indiana Jones film, Last Crusade, um, and he said a little something about the passing of uh, the late great Sean Connery. And uh, Harrison Ford has a way with words here. He says, He was my father, dot, 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 not in life, dot, 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 but in Indy 3. <laughs> Is that a click if, hole? <laughs> it, no, it's not. If he's in heaven, I hope they have golf courses. Rest in peace. <laughs> Sean Connery being in heaven is a big F. <laughs> we all know his stance on domestic violence. <laughs> That's right. Well, Harrison's just landed out as it is. You know, he's not going to say for sure he is in heaven, but he really has a way with words. He's a beautiful man. Right on. I should stop uh, being underneath this when I'm destroying the supports of it. Ah, come on. No one's a perfect firefighter. <laughs> Is that what you think I am? Yeah. Interesting. I do. Kind of a volunteer firefighter slash arsonist. Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of submerging oh, so, it now. That's so cool. That's awesome. Now, what if I... Oh, this <laughs> boat tipped at some you point. Get the boat! Let's try this. Oh, excuse me. Oh, is your boat just eating the dock? It's <laughs> Roboros eating one another. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling good about this. What's your plan here? I'm just going to give it a big ram. With to... this poor person's boat. Okay. Oh, hello. <gasps> Leo. Hello, border. Coming okay. at ya. We're right. going to jump it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll park here. <laughs> okay. Not much structural damage. See my right. Oh, it's like I'm trying to think of the texture of what this feels like. It's something wet. It's like a wet graham cracker like, or something. Yes, really, really damp wood. <laughs> you know when you ram your boat into damp wood, chat. Oh, people say quick save, Leo. Oh, good call. <laughs> Is this a good point to quick save? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just gonna get the edge here. It looks like a, 
a time la time lapse of mold damage <laughs> when you're destroying stuff in this game. Yeah. That little piece is too tall, I agree. Yeah, it always just highlights oh, the tall. tallest point of it. Look at this debris, God. this looks great. I love your boat going down too, it's very ending of Jaws in there right now. Yeah. Oh, now we're just splitting hairs, come on. There we go. <laughs> what do you want from us? Oh, now people want you to light it on fire. <laughs> I am a servant to chat's will. <laughs> you heard him, chat. And see ya. No evidence you were ever here at all. <laughs> In and out. Perfect crime. Escape vehicles over there. I love that. No waypoints. Let's be done with waypoints as a community. Yeah, you know? we should start calling them go waypoints if you ask me. Oh, you're so right. Thank you. Thank you. Look, look forward to my tweet where I just parrot that exact <laughs> sentence later today. What? What's it doing? Primary target's office safe. I didn't even notice the safe stuff. I missed all that. Also, the, the fire is now getting out of control. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what? How is that possible? That's so funny. I was just like, no waypoints. And if there was a waypoint, I totally would not have missed that. But still, <laughs> I stand by it. Okay, I'm taking the fire off your hands. I'll just grab that real quick. <laughs> Absorb that. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Please. Oh, oh, ha, ha. Oh, great. Okay, and I don't think that boat's big enough for the fire alert to get alerted. <laughs> We're going to need a bigger boat for the fire alert to get alerted. I just watched Jaws recently, everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's really on my brain. We can tell. Secondary targets. <laughs> Warehouse safe. Where is that? All the way oh, over there. Wow. Okay, well. I need to make sure this fire alert doesn't get called so I have time to do all the objectives. Oh my god. Can you really salvage this boat? Well, I can just put out the fire a bit. Yeah. I'm glad the fire extinguisher is unlimited. Thank you for that. That is nice. Okay. We're in great shape. Yeah. What, uh, we didn't ask you, what is in a fire extinguisher? What is that crap? Oh, water. A lot of people don't know that. It's just simply, it's just simple water. Oh. Let's say put out okay. a fire. If you're ever at a restaurant and the waiter's taking too long to refill your water, you can just walk over to the fire extinguisher on the wall and just <laughs> refill it real quick. <laughs> That's what they have those for. It's kind of self refill stations. <laughs> oh, I see. That's cool. The red is alarming. Yeah. Sometimes no, it's a... spicy water. If it's red, that means it's gonna be <laughs> spicy. <laughs> How many, do you think anybody's ever like, I don't know, Never mind. Some sentences aren't worth saying. <laughs> That's Tear the damn truth. Cool, Leo. <laughs> I like this thing. Me too, I'm loving it. I'm gonna pop in here real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Always fun. <laughs> In and out. Is that butter? Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, it's fun to figure out what this stuff is supposed to be. Butter? Bonk. <laughs> butter not. Uh, ooh, Loki Keese says, imagine if Grand Theft Auto 6 was like this. That would be a great direction for them. It's just, oh my God. Like really doubling down on destructibility for the next GTA. Use you your something. resources for good, Rockstar. No honestly. Problem. That's what I consider good. Don't donate them. <laughs> it is insane that they have not announced a GTA 6 yet. I know Red Dead 2 is it? just came out. I guess that was a couple years ago. But I mean, for how much money GTA 5 has made, can you imagine taking that long to announce the next one? Like how cozy of a company you got to be. Yeah, for sure. Well, yeah, GTA Online has made them quite a cozy company. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah. Do you... um? If you had to rank your favorite games of all time, where would you put GTA 5? Not in the top 50, certainly. Okay, GTA it, Online is bundled in that, though. Yeah, it gets some status for GTA Online. There was a point where that was my main game, and I had a blast with it, for sure. Yeah. But not no so, longer. So 71? 71 sounds perfect. 71. Okay. So I'm going to dump this safe in the ocean. Hmm. How do you do that? What's below you? 
Not the ocean. It's gonna be a long way. So you, you can kind of grab stuff and. It. Oh god. Gonna... It kind of looks like a VR pushy pulley system, but this game isn't in VR, right? No, but boy, should it be. Oh my god, that'd be nauseating. <laughs> uh, Biggie boy in the chat says he likes that there's literally no way to open a door in this game. It's smash or nothing. Actually, I think you can pull doors open. <laughs> oh, boo! <laughs> That's for the roleplay community. I wonder what a clever solution for this is. Like push it with the truck or something? Yeah, like drop it on a car. And drive ah! it. God. <laughs> Pitch perfect. <laughs> it doesn't get much more clever than that. <laughs> is this a Looney Tunes gag? <laughs> yep, that had it coming. No doubt about it. Yes, sir. Okay. There we go. The heart of the ocean. There we go. Dig it up later. Dig in the water. Dig it up them holes. Digging. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, speedboat. Ooh, cool looking speedboat. It's got that min-max orange. Ooh. Oh, we like that. <laughs> Leo, I've noticed... This isn't this isn't a critique, <laughs> but I've noticed myself doing it too because I also think it's very funny. I've noticed you're doing a lot of that. The we like that, don't we, folks? <laughs> Which obviously comes from uh, the president of the United States. Um, yeah. Have you noticed yourself the getting into that too? Absolutely. It is a funny. It's an objectively a funny way to phrase God. discussions. I wish and we that's, could laugh at him. Yes. Yes, that is the <laughs> conundrum. Yeah. Okay, here's uh, my plan. I've just got a smarter solution for this. The smart yeah. boy solution is what I call this method. I'm interested. Um, oh, just beating the crap out of a wall? Yeah, I don't know if anyone's tried that in this game yet. Oh. I think it could work. Well, hang on, I'm going to game FAQ. Yeah, there's not a single article about it. Ooh. Like tables. <laughs> yeah, you can't see it from watching the video, but it does actually take physical strength from Leo himself to make this happen. He has to really clench his real muscles. Ooh. Okay, what if I... Let's try this. I've got to clear this boat out. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs a hobby, it says? That's cute. Why is he telling you that? Why do I care? Wait, does this have controls? Can I? Yes, I can move the bed. Cool. Oh, fun. See ya! Oh, that's great. Okay, so I want to get under the safe and kind of yoink it with the bed of the truck. Uh, Dent asks, does it feel like the game would benefit from a charged hammer swing for more power? Hmm. I don't know. You'd end up charging it a lot, I think. It would become yeah. the normal hammer swing. Oh, how badly do you think Sony is pushing to get this game on PS5 so they could work in some weird dual sense, like so you can feel going through a wall? Yeah. That seems tailor-made. Quite badly. Okay, check this out. Oh, is it? <laughs> it's going to okay, raise it through the roof. <laughs> oh, yoink. That's awesome. <laughs> Good game! Good, Good game! game. And, then... and now you drive that onto the boat? <laughs> yep. Uh, are you gonna actually try and back it up? Oh god! Perfect. Perfect. Is that the point? Nothing exploded and I didn't level up, so I don't know if I did good there. There are no big UI explosions. Yeah. We got a poll going in Twitch right now. Did Leo do good or not, everybody? Woo! Shouts out if I did good. Clearing <laughs> it. Okay, that's fine, too. Can ooh, I drive this ooh. big boy? Yeah, that seems great. That's a spooky boat. Whoop! Oh, oh, yeah. Of course. This is awesome. Yeah, see how much steam you can build up on that sucker? It's got a handbrake for those drift turns. <laughs> That's awesome. What is the point of that pole? Is that a mast? Like, the, it's not for a sail. What is that? Hmm. Are there any boat experts in the chat? I think it's for we height. We could use you. Hmm. 
Mm. Do you think I can destroy this? Oh my <laughs> god. Am I destroying it or just cleaving my boat in half? There is something really <laughs> weird and gross about that. I know. My boat just <laughs> ate that bridge. <laughs> just opened its maw and chomped through it. And now it's going down. Wow. Oh my god. Oh, Ooh. that was weird to watch. That was, oh, wow, that was the most valuable thing I got. I just found it under the bridge. A little Easter egg for you fans out there. A little tip. Nice. See ya. Job done. Odie Dilo says you could have crashed this boat into the cabin. That's a great point. That'd be a fun way to do that mission. Oh, interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Auto collapses. Love how in game your character cannot break metal, so being a petty person, he just throws it into the ocean. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the metal pit. Yeah. Oh, am I fixing my roof? Not for long. <laughs> I am this per this protagonist's darkest impulses. <laughs> That's all I control. Oh! Wow. Didn't expect that. <laughs> Weird. Weird. Let's upgrade some of these damn tools. Ooh, yeah. More fuel for my blowtorch. Oh, whoa, the person who upgrades the spray can compared to all other options. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, useful to help planning an intended path during escape. That's such a fun oh, idea. Ooh, Draw a line through your route. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I want to go extra oh. rounds. I'm going to be worried about using all my shotgun rounds, to be honest. I wonder if they'd ever add multiplayer, or if that would just uh, blow up the world. I guess that would be so hard to try and track where all of these different things are. Yeah, it would have to be server-side, which, like, I don't know if anybody's cracked that. Like, Siege doesn't even do it server-side, really. Yeah. Barry Crab says, physics are amazing, but I kind of want to see a faster-paced version of the game. Well, I bet there's going to be speedruns Probably a couple days ago, uh, if you want to find those on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, Lee, Lee, great job, but uh, if you want to see faster, I bet it's out there. Yeah, I, but really, though, I do just, like, want the developer of this to perfect this engine and then just, like, sell it and see a bunch of Steam games that are like, here's a shooter with this kind of destruction engine. Right, right. A multiplayer-type game. I would love that. If you woke up tomorrow... In a very yesterday style uh, scenario. Movie you yesterday. You woke up tomorrow. The film yesterday. <laughs> if you woke up yesterday in a very tomorrow style <laughs> scenario and Minecraft never existed and you weren't the playing dream. this game on a regular basis, like how long would it be until you noticed, do you think? Like how big of an impact would that have on your discussions about games? Interesting. I would be, I would say under a week. Okay. Just yeah, because exactly. of all of the mine diamond references in my damn Discord right now. <laughs> what? What? How is that? How is that? Uh, Minecraft parody song parodies. Oh. Okay. And what so you just be like, oh, people are suspiciously quiet about. They're not talking about mine diamond. Right. Anymore. Everybody's names is suddenly not a reference to some eight-year-old singing a Minecraft parody of <laughs> WAP. <laughs> Okay, well, okay, let's, I'm trying to think of my life where I don't have clever friends like that in a big Discord. So clever. Uh, yeah. I mean, it'd probably be four days before, and it'd be fun to figure out, like, what wouldn't have released without Minecraft. Yeah, totally. It has to be a gigantic impact, or is it just such a core idea that everybody would get around to it eventually? Hmm. It's just like that embrace. It's so weird now to think of a world where, you know, 2005, let's say, I remember daydreaming about, like, the idea of a survival game. And now it's just like, well, that's just the core idea. But is a huge chunk of that just coming from Minecraft? I know people think, like, oh, the, the blocks, the creation. But just the elevation of the survival genre is also Minecraft, right? In huh. the mainstream. I guess so. Because you got your creepers and what have you. Yeah. <laughs> there are creepers. Uh, T. Brinkle asked, would we have No Man's Sky without Minecraft? That's a great question. I doubt it. Uh, 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 it wouldn't be uh, the same game it is, for sure. Yeah. Because when you actually play it, it's so much a, a crafting game. Right. 
I want to say a little something. Um, here is a video that I made in 2014 <laughs> that's called How Minecraft Influenced No Man's Sky. Uh, can we listen to it, Leo? Uh, yes. Okay, let's see. Can you hear this? Oh, hang on. Let me uh, change all these fun settings on my end. I've made a tremendous mistake, by the way. I didn't realize that would set off an alarm, and now we're screwed, and I never quick saved because I didn't realize I'd be in danger. So, taking oh, it from the no. top. There we go. Oh, here we go. I asked Sean Murray this exact question. Hang on. What? Do you think No Man's Sky would exist without Minecraft? Yeah, hang on. Can you not hear that? No. Oh. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Can you hear it now? Yes. Yes. You Game would exist if Minecraft didn't exist. Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. So interesting. Like, I don't think No Man's Sky is like Minecraft, right. but it is something that comes up a lot. Um, I think I think only Minecraft is like Minecraft. You know what I mean? It's answer like the its question, you dodger. Oh. Uh, and all its so clones. PR <laughs> trained, right? They really count. Like for me, there is only Minecraft, and I wouldn't want to try and make a game like that. I think that is something that's just going to live forever. Speeding probably. it up, and it's brilliant, and I admire it. Would No Man's Sky exist if Minecraft didn't exist? I think definitely, it existed in our minds for so long and way before Minecraft and stuff. But what was really nice over the last few years was seeing games like Minecraft and Terraria and Starbound and uh, Daisy and a whole host of stuff, mainly on PC, that's going to come out. That Okay, we don't need to watch the whole thing, but you get the idea. So, yes, definitely, it would exist, but it would be different. Seems to be the core. Yeah. Weird. I would have told you that. Sean? Yeah. yeah, come on, Sean. Get your head out of your butt and stop exploding it in those GIFs. Remember when Kyle... I don't know where this was, so you might have been here for it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, we're good. So you yeah, might have been here for it, or you might have yeah. not, but when Kyle was, like, re making a reference to Sean Murray's pro wakeboarding, and we're like, what the hell? That's ridiculous. Sean Murray, yeah. you got him mixed up. That's an No Man's Sky guy. And then right. there definitely just was a Sean Murray's pro wakeboarding. Maybe it was snowboarding. <gasps> yeah, that was bizarre. Okay, we're going to quick save. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, what's the plan, Leo? Walk me through this. Well, I need to bring that boat. I feel like what I did with the boat is still the best plan, which is I bring the boat over here. I've already got the car over here. As soon as I start driving the car, which I have to get the cars into this box, that's when the okay. timer starts. Okay. But there are secondary objectives I want to see if we can do as well. So I'm going to bring this car over here, and then we're going to try to route the other things I have to do, of which there are plenty. Great. Uh, chat, if you have any wild ideas that could improve on Leo's strategy here, even though it seems impossible, please, right. please let us know. No, your mind isn't even trying to think of them. Right, because you're just sitting back and watching the master. Right. Watching the master open doors. Like a gentleman. <laughs> and then he destroys the open door. <laughs> <laughs> just to show I have complete mastery over it. That's right. That's right. Oh, man. Careful. Easy now. That water does look surprisingly good, doesn't it? Yeah. I like Auto that I don't have to line up the boats perfectly because if I like just bring it onto the shore, it'll kind of split the difference as the boat gets yeah. eaten away. It'll like form a tight seal. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so fun to still see new things in the video game space. It is. It's 2020. We should be out of ideas by now. Yeah, wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody in the chat says this is exactly what they did and that Leo is a god, some sort of deity, something like that. Well, that kind of proves that I'm uh, doing it in a boring way. No offense, everybody. Ooh, ooh, they but don't like that, Leo. Oh, they're revolting? Yeah, they're actually taking control of the stream. I'm not sure how. Because <laughs> I feel like I'll have to drive a boat from one of these buildings to the other and then hop in this whip and go back to the start and get the other whips. 
that, uh, is that understandable? Y yeah, I assume. Uh, Shadow Cloud said it took a while. LOL. What did? Uh, I think to fulfill the objective the way that you and the chat are doing it. Yeah. Which I don't mind. It's painstaking. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dr. Whoops says use the blowtorch on the metal. Oh, great tip alert. Thank you. Thank you. Oh That's God. so stupid yeah. obvious in hindsight. Thank you so much for pointing that out. I would have played this whole game without figuring that out. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Square Burgers says the 10 year anniversary of Overblood is this year. Maybe do something during Extra Life. That's a fun idea. Um, we talked about that, but like, is it a fun Extra Life segment to just like watch the first episode of Overblood? Plus, not to spoil anything, but Tim Turry can't be joining us for over for Extra Life this year, and so it seems like a shame to do something Overblood related without him. So, oh, uh, Dent wants to know: Could you please predict when we'll run out of video game ideas? I think once this game goes 1.0, that'll be the end of it. That'll be the last one. Yeah, and they'll put the banner up, mission accomplished, and we'll be good to go. Right. Right in there. Okay, I think we're about ready to start. The spray oh paint God. is overkill for this <laughs> relatively simple route, but no, it's I, fun. I think it's a great call. I wish there was a fuse and you could light it, and then the mission possible theme would start. Yes, that would be good. Also, shotgun beats metal. Huh. Oh, cool. I like the shotgun. I upgraded it and didn't use it at all. Ooh, yeah. I wonder what like a death match would look like in this game. Right? <laughs> all right. Oh, the boat, Leo. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Follow that path. This already feels like not enough time, though. This is a tight window. Yeah. Oh, God. Just shoot your way. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. I believe in you. Ooh, curious about that weird building back there too. But not now, Leo, please. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Right. Okay, Ooh. thank you for that game. Oops. Okay. Just lock it in. Perfect. And oh my! Oh, the escape! I didn't, don't even think about the escape. I don't know where the escape. Oh, it's oh, Nazarok, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. oh. Quack, 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 of course, quack, quack. it's the truck with the cars in it. Oh my God! Wow, missed that Ooh. step in my plan. That's fine. Hold your head high. You were you were damn close, man. <laughs> I will. Uh, Steve on the Hudson asked, did someone in chat? Earlier, say that spray paint shows up on the overhead map too. Does it? That's cool. Yes, it does. I love yeah. that. That's such a smart system. All right, what did I do wrong? How do I make this faster? Chat, let them know. Please scream at them. Um, apparently, there's a game called Sector Something that also was released. Is this true? Dark a Sector? Weird... No, free to play voxel shooter came out the same time as this. Sector Something. Oh, it's not literally called Sector something, of course. <laughs> um, let's see. Sector video game voxel. Sector's Edge. Hmm. Oh, I dropped the wrong car! No, no! Yeah, Classic came up mistake. Go. God, good time for voxels. Way to go. This is the worst thing imaginable, what's happening to me right now. This is yeah. a worse than me dying on stream of a heart attack. Yeah, that's true. If you're looking for a way out because you're too embarrassed, you can just fake a heart attack at any moment and no one can blame you. Oh, that's Leo. not going to be it for the great Cody hunt this week. No, uh, no. Tear downs out now. Uh, thanks for joining me. It's in. Hey, uh, in thanks, for, thanks oh. for inviting me, Leo. Um, oh. I just want to say thanks to everybody for following us on Twitch. I really appreciate it. And, um, <laughs> It reminds me uh, of another anecdote from a Game Informer interview from six years ago. Uh, 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 Let me see if I could just pull this up. How you doing, Leo? Uh, good. Do you have any plugs? Uh, yeah, check out The Deepest Dive. Uh, uh, the video, wrapping uh, up our multi-part uh, cross-media event by talking uh, about the 2011 film. The video game, there's comics 
Let's see, Leo, what else is there for the thing? Uh, uh, the uh, tabletop games, you say? The tabletop games. Oh. That's right, everybody. Also, on this week's episode of the MinMax Show, we'll be announcing our next deepest dive, and it's going to be very exciting. So, Leo, I hope you're ready to swing into action soon with the deepest dive. Leo? Leo? Oh. Thanks for watching, everybody! Do you want to get your name or Twitch or YouTube channel in the description of everything we release? Record a podcast with us, put a picture of your choice on MinMax's TV, or a whole lot more? You can check out the benefits for supporting us on Patreon. If you support MinMax at any tier on Patreon, you can submit questions or comments for us to read on the air, and you'll also get access to the wonderful MinMax Discord. We need your help to keep this whole indie trainer rolling, so we'd appreciate it if you checked us out.